Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Neum, and here today I have a story for you. It's not a story of some magical photograph or a silly story to try to make you laugh. It's a story of how I creatively be, became defeated and um, because of comparison, my internal artist almost became deleted. Sometimes we compare ourselves and fear takes over. But here's how my daughter saved me, and just another reason why I love her. For what I'm about to say is in a tone not so mild, for I believe we all can learn from the creativity of a child. I picked up a camera over five years ago, and once I started shooting, oh my goodness, I could not let it go. I was obsessed, never slept, was on the computer all night, learning about f-stops and lenses and light. Then an interesting opportunity came my way to start a network of shows to hear what other photographers had to say. We interviewed the best, the talented, the unique, and where I told a story of a new photographer every single week. Kevin Kubota, Lindsay Adler, Jeremy Coward, and Jill Grimes, Brent Iser, John Keatley, and Brooke Shade, and like four times, I was surrounded by talents that blew me away. And all the while, on a shelf is where my camera did stay. Two years later, my seven-year-old daughter wanted to create, and what she did shook me just years ago today, months ago today. She woke from her sleep and came skipping down to me. Her energy, her passion, her absolute glue, glee. She says, Mom, Mom, and I looked in her eyes. I dreamed it, Mom. I dreamed I could fly. She grabbed her markers and her doodle pad of thoughts. She began coloring, drawing, a sketch and a jot. She looked at me straightly and showed me the art she drew. Mom, it's time for a photo shoot done by me and you. I want a picture, a moment of me up in the sky. I want to show the world that Livia New can fly. Mom, right? I knew in my heart that it could be so fun. But I looked at her and said, just go finish your movie, hon. What was wrong with me, I thought. I couldn't figure it out. I was overcome by comparison. I was overcome with doubt. My lens was old and my camera had dust and having the latest Nikon model was a total must. I saw the confused look and bewilderment in her eyes, but there was nothing that was going to stop her. Today, Livia knew it was going to fly. She grabbed a, a stool and a ladder and her doodle notepad, and I reluctantly pulled out my dusty camera bag. She sat on the stool on top of her bed, and as I looked through my viewfinder, something magical went off in my head. Ideas, composition, framing, and light. I was exploding with ideas of the spectacle at sight. She ignited in me the monster within that's dying to create, to internally win, right? I suddenly forgot about the negative vibe and I did what came so naturally, what felt so good inside. We composited, fluffed curtains, she posed and we laughed, and since years ago from that day, I completed my first conceptual photograph. I looked at my daughter who didn't realize what she had done. She didn't let me be conquered. She brought back my passion. She brought back fun. When she had these ideas, she didn't compare herself to any other or let someone tell her that she shouldn't bother. When she had these ideas, she took action on a concept and off that cliff she leapt and she helped me take that crucial first step. Creativity is a bug that starts out small and you feed it with passion and it grows ginormous and tall. You feed it and grow it with success, mistakes, sweat and tears. But its poison is doubt, comparison, and fear. So my dear friends, as you look around the room, is your creativity bug in there? If so, what's stopping you? Think like a child and let your creativity ignite. It's the passion and love that will keep it alive. Get your paper, pad, and pen and think of concepts. Take that first leap and take that crucial first step. The more you doubt, go out and shoot. It's a must. Don't let your camera sit. Don't let it collect dust. Be like a child and dream and create. And don't let yourself, don't compare yourself to others. That's your biggest mistake. When you have an idea, let your idea soar. Dream, create, sing, dance, ignite it like it's never been done before. 
Don't you dare doubt yourself, because in your ear I will cry. You, my friends, were born to fly. <laughs>